I remember watching Beetlejuice as a kid so vividly. I, I remember the theater. I remember where I was sitting. And I just remember giggling all the way through it. There was just something about it that I had never seen before. And that's what made it incredibly special. And even though like Beetlejuice only had 15 minutes of screen time in it, it just sat with all of us. It was just something that just became iconic. And if you're at my age, it was something you just grew up with and just adored and loved. There's just something about the magic of Beetlejuice that has stuck with us. It was just such a small focused film. It was the introduction of Tim Burton in 1988. You've never seen anything like it before. And that's what's so special about Beetlejuice. Now, I, going into this, I was optimistically cautious. I mean, I was literally cautious about coming into it. With any expectation over Tim Burton's career, it has kind of fizzled in a way. The last like amazing movie, that, in my opinion, he that he directed was Sweeney Todd. And some people can argue Alice in, Alice in Wonderland, some people can argue Big Eyes, but even like Dumbo and it just, things have just not been Tim Burton. Tim Burton hasn't been able to let loose and, and create something so spectacular and amazing that made Tim Burton, Tim Burton. And I can honestly say that Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, gave him that opportunity to do it, and he succeeded. Now, I have a problem with Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. The problem is not just the vision of Tim Burton, it is the screenplay. And that's where I have a hard time with this film because I kind of look at this screenplay as almost a first draft. That These guys wrote a screenplay, gave it to Tim Burton, Michael Keaton signed on, and it was like, okay, here's a whole bunch of money, let's shoot it. It seemed kind of a mess, a really a hot mess. And all he, Tim Burton was trying to do was just kind of throw in his, uh, his imagination and his practical effects and everything to make it what it was. And, and again, he succeeded. But the exposition just took way too long. It could have literally just started at the funeral scene and carried on the story that way, in my opinion. And then after that, things just didn't really kind of work with the characters. And actually, a friend who posted on my first impression basically said the exact same thing I was thinking, is that there was literally no character arc. And in this screenplay, it was just basically about an angsty teenage girl, which we've seen before, and a whole bunch of characters that just kind of show up, with really no purpose. And by the time it actually got to the really good stuff, I was kind of just almost cashed out. You know, each character had their own screen time, and you get to see Beetlejuice a little bit more. I almost felt like Tim Burton just didn't let Michael Keaton be Beetlejuice. It felt very reserved. I don't think he was having as much fun as he did in the original. I, mean, I was hoping for that converse, those that dialogue, that catchy dialogue that we all expect from Beetlejuice. That raunchy, weird feel, and it just felt more reserved. I don't know if Tim Burton's just kind of growing up and, and just, you know, got to a point in his life where Things are just not as funny anymore. I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to give any away, but yes, there is a alternative to Deo, which seems you either, <laughs> either buy into it or you don't. You feel like it's silly or you don't. And I don't know. There's so many great reactions that are coming from this movie. This movie is actually very polarizing. People are really, really loving it, and people are absolutely hating it. And I think I'm kind of in the middle. I don't hate it. I'll revisit it again. It just, it just didn't feel right. It didn't feel complete. And I hate to say that because that doesn't necessarily mean anything. It just showed a bigger world and characters that just kind of like are supposed to be conf the conflict and they, they, they're they not. And, and I don't know, this kind of seems a little wasted. Willem Dafoe, I love him, felt kind of wasted. Justin Theroux's character playing a smarmy guy. Uh, yeah, I mean, again, it's a, it's a character thing that we've all seen before. I just wanted something a little bit different. And I think this, the, the vision of Tim Burton in the screenplay did not mix. It didn't cross and nothing was, didn't feel complete. When it comes down to expectations, 
Was mine too high? Did I expect too much? Am I being too nitpicky? Did I just not feel it? It just, but you know, as a, as a film goer, you, you try to connect. And that's the hope is that the story's going to connect with you. You're going to, you're going to get some feelings back after watching it. And your opinion is going to be different than my opinion. And that's the beauty of film. This is the beauty of what we're trying to do here. This is the beauty of me having these conversations and opening up to you about how I feel about certain things. So if you like something, I want to know why. I want to know why uh, it, it connected with you and it didn't connect with me. That's kind of the purpose, isn't it? To have these conversations. It's the fun. So again, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice did not connect with me. I thought it, the vision of Tim Burton, he went all out. The very, very thin, hot mess of a screenplay. And that's where it kind of lost. That, that's where it was lost on me. So with all that being said, that's just my opinion. I really want to know how you feel about Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I just appreciate you going on this film journey with me. Beetlejuice. Feel free to express yourselves. Don't be afraid.